Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here at T. Roy Cooks, I appreciate it. I got a recipe for a cabbage soup from my grandmother probably 30 plus years ago. And if memory serves, she got this recipe from a heart hospital in Baton Rouge that would give it to heart patients that needed surgery. And if they were a little too obese to have the surgery when they came in, they would put them on this restrictive diet and have them eat this soup along with a bunch of fruit and stuff to help them lose weight. So this is an excellent soup. I mean, it really, really does taste good. And the key to this soup though is you can eat as much of it as you want because it takes more energy for your body to burn the calories that are in this soup than calories that the soup gives you. So you're actually burning calories by eating this soup. Pretty cool, huh? Really simple to make, easy to throw together, and again, it tastes wonderful, folks. Let me show you what goes in this. All right, everybody, this is the actual ingredients here. Let me show you the recipe. This is an old recipe. It's originally called Peel a Pound Soup, and it's a seven-day restrictive diet. This first paragraph, that's the ingredients for the soup and tells you how to make it. It's very simple. I'll put that in the description box for you. Um, you're going to need some onion soup mix, okay? One packet. You're going to need six to seven beef bouillon cubes, or I guess you could use beef stock if you want. It doesn't matter. You're going to need, if you use the cubes though, beef bouillon cubes, you're going to need about three cups of water. You're going to need celery. You're going to need onion. You're going to need garlic. It calls for either stewed, to, uh, stewed tomatoes or whole peeled tomatoes. I'm using the whole peeled tomatoes, one can. Head of cabbage. You're going to need some bell peppers. I'm using both red and green. Doesn't matter. All right, folks, let's start putting all this together. Again, this is my whole peeled tomatoes. Going in with those. And just squeezing the juice out of them. Once you have those busted up, go ahead and throw in your onion soup mix. Give that a nice stir. This is the bouillon cubes and water. I'll put uh, three cups of water in there. Go ahead and go in with all your veggies. There's most of them. The onions and chopped up garlic. Going over the cabbage. And again, you can see that coarse chop. And this is, you're gonna need a pretty large pot to start off with, but this cabbage is gonna cook down, folks. So if you can't fit it all in your pot, let it cook down a little bit, and then we can add the rest of this after that cooks down just a little bit. All right, everybody, it's been about 15 minutes. This has come up to a boil. I'm fixing to turn it down to simmer. And again, I did stir it up, and as you can see, the cabbage just wilted down real nicely. You want to stir this up every once in a while, and again, put the lid on it and simmer it just until the veggies are done to your liking, as tender as you like them. All right, folks, let's check this out. And it uh, cooked down to, to my liking here. It's uh, probably been an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Doesn't that look gorgeous? It smells terrific. And if you notice, I did not add any salt or pepper. In my opinion, it does not need salt or pepper. Let's give this a taste. All right, everybody, got me a nice spoonful here. Still piping hot. Mmm. Tell you what, this is a fabulous soup, folks. I really do hope you'll give it a try. And again, the more you eat, the more weight you're gonna lose. So y'all give it a shot. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're not a sub, please go ahead and sub. And as always, I hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all of your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> See y'all next time, everybody. Cheers.